have to help him. The past few years have been yeah. painful for Franklin Arnold. Feeling like a bunch of glass, chopped glass, was in my back and it was moving around as I moved. Franklin had severe scoliosis. A little more than two years ago, he had spine surgery, which corrected his scoliosis, but not his pain. There was one point in time where he was just giving up and I didn't know what to do because if he was giving up. Franklin had to wear a brace daily that was supposed to be temporary, and he was on numerous medications that tried to treat his pain. His pain management team with Dr. Juan Fernhaber then recommended Franklin meet with ECU thoracic surgeon, Dr. Carlos Anciano. Dr. Anciano come in and said, hey, I can fix you within the thir first 30 seconds of our, our conversation. But in order to do that, Anciano brought in an ECU technology management graduate student to make a 3D printed replica of Franklin's rib cage. I was really excited because this is all I wanted to do for the last four years. So instead of going to the beach for spring break like other college students, Joshua worked on making an exact replica of Franklin's rib cage so that Dr. Anciano would be able to come up with a hybrid, minimally invasive game plan to help ease Franklin's pain. They just took this on and ran with it. As part of Franklin's original scoliosis surgery, two of his ribs were removed for a bone graft. Due to the nature of his condition, Anciano said those missing ribs allowed his wing bone to fall down and be trapped in that space. Thanks to this 3D rib cage, Dr. Anciano and his team cut and molded a titanium mesh to fit that space exactly and determined where to mount it. I was excited. He showed me some pictures of him going through and I was really happy that he was able to use it. But Franklin also had multiple ribs and scar tissue that had grown together abnormally and was also causing him a lot of pain and difficulty breathing and entrapping nerves, his diaphragm and lung. We really used the 3D model to figure out, okay, this is exactly the bone that we need to find and we opened it up and then we figured out what was going on. Now several months removed from surgery, Franklin is down to only one intermittent medication for his pain and he no longer needs that brace. He's also able to take daily walks with his wife and daughter. Every time I see him, he's doing better and better and better. I know that this technology now, that what they're doing now, it's going to help a lot of people's lives. Still people in this world that really care. That's not just doing their job for the money. They really care.